Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Carrie Camp. I am a plus size model in the Toronto area. And this is who I am. This is me. If you have any questions, leave them down below. But without further ado, let's get to the video. Um, so today, as you guys have read in the title, it is a Fashion Nova haul. That's right, I got another shipment of Fashion Nova clothes. You guys have already seen one of the jackets on their website, or on my, on their website, on my, which was this one, on my Instagram, the Carrie Camp. If you're not following me, please go do so. Um, but you've already seen this jacket modeled on my Instagram. And so, yeah, this haul actually super surprised me. I tried on both of the jackets just because I wasn't sure about them. and. With it being fall season, I'm super excited. And then I got two dresses, a shirt, and then a bathing suit cover-up, which I'm super excited to try on. You guys have no idea. I haven't tried uh, anything except for the um, the two jackets. So this will be kind of a first experience for me too. But uh, I want to get to my measurements really quick. I'm sorry, I do not have any makeup on and my hair is just kind of like thrown back. Uh, Scott and my grandma, my grandma's in from Saskatchewan this week, so they went to the Jays game and left me at home alone to film, so, um, that's cool, too, because, you know, I gotta, I gotta provide to you guys, so, alright, so my bust is 43, I was actually watching, like, old videos this week, and I was like, oh, what do, what do I do differently now, and, everything and my makeup like so different my waist is oh can't see about 38 right there you see it I can't really see it and then I actually used to come closer to the screen for my measurements so that you guys could actually see that I'm not lying so I thought I would do that now my waist or my belly sorry I am measuring my belly is 51, uh, 50 and a half, 51 in that area. And then this booty, I'll try and show it so that it's nice and close for you guys, is 54. That's right, with my grandma being in town, I've eaten quite a bit and haven't been to the gym as much. I've just been working out in my home gym, so definitely not burning the calories that I would if I was going to Sarah Taylor's gym. So yeah, there's that. But that's okay, I live life and without any regrets, so I'm, I'm super happy. Uh, this top is from the Nike outlet, you guys always ask me about it. Uh, it was in, I think, Pittsburgh, just outside of Pittsburgh, it was a Nike outlet. And then these pants are from Costco. You guys already knew that though, because that's where I go. But um, what I'm going to do with these outfits is I'm going to do the jackets first. I have all the pricing and everything right here. So I'm going to do the jackets first, and then the dresses, and then the top, and uh, then the bathing suit cover-up. So let's get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, if you guys have any questions at all, let me down below. Let me down below. Let me know down below. Do not let me down below. Uh, let me know down below. And I typically respond to them, so yay. Let's move on. All right, guys, so I just put on this Fashion Nova shirt. You guys have seen this in a previous haul. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, but I'm just going to throw on this jacket. So this jacket is a 1X. I'll let you know, like, all the descriptions and everything and the prices. Uh, the prices won't be down below, but I'll put a link to all of the items down below. But um, this jacket is the Ride For Me jacket in mauve, and it is $34.99 US. So um, I've also been getting a lot of questions about fabrics and stuff. So this fabric is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So you definitely feel the spandex in it. All right, it'll come nice and close. So they got a pocket here and a pocket here. And they are working pockets. Turn around a little bit. 
And then the zipper. I don't know how to zip zippers. <laughs> there we go. So it kind of goes on an angle, which I freaking love. You guys have no idea when this style was in or like it was actually even over here some of the zippers on the Burton I even remember the brands on the Burton and the zipper was on the side or it would go like diagonally I was so jealous because they didn't have it in my size and so I never could have it and I wanted it so bad so now that like plus size is finally starting to come around and people are starting to experiment with plus size clothing it makes me so happy that I can like have these side zippers or like the chevron print like I never got to go through that before so now that like chevron is being printed in plus size like I feel like I need everything in chevron print not really but anyway that's like my own personal opinion like we just didn't get fashion in plus size so if you don't like a tighter sleeve they do have a zipper with extenders on both wrists so that's kind of nice um as for sleeves i wouldn't say that there's much room in this like usually on the top i am a 1x if you like it to be a little bit more snug you could totally um size up to the 2x but it does cut me at the smallest part of my waist so i feel like this is a good size for me and because it's a little bit stretchy that helps as well and I would nine times out of ten just wear it open like that's how I like these little crop jackets to be is just a little bit open like this so I would say that this is the perfect size for me personally this is the size that I wanted so yeah this is a 1x $34.99 US and the link is down below if you want it they do have it I think in an olive color as well so Yay! Okay, so moving on to my next jacket. All right, so this next jacket is a nice long jacket. So it's a long story coat is what this one's called. Um, and it is $54.99 US. I ordered it in a 2X just because of my booty. And so it's, oh, fabrics, sorry. I forgot about the fabric part. It's so funny because, like, you really cannot have enough jackets when it comes to fall because you don't want to be wearing the same jacket all the time or you have, like, fashion events to go to or, like, a friend's barbecue. And it's like, you don't want to be going with the same jacket. I used to get so frustrated with myself by going with the same jacket. I don't know why. It's just, like, a thing in me. I'm like, I just want to look different all the time, maybe. And so um, I would either, like, suck it up and not wear a jacket at all or I would have like a couple of jackets but now that like I'm getting these clothes and stuff it's really kind of nice having a bunch of different options um just to like go out in and all of that kind of stuff so but this uh the lining is 100% polyester and then the it says self is polyester as well but it's like the fuzzy kind I don't know how to like to describe it so this is like like almost like a silky feel and then this is more like fuzzy oh hi Sierra my dog wants in the video <laughs> all right so this goes to my knee and then it has one button And so the thing about this jacket, I have already tried it on. The thing about this jacket is it fits decent right here, but it opens down here. And so I'm not a big fan of that. Like I would want it to sit a little bit more straight. Then what it is, I feel like if I would have sized up, this would have been too bulky and then it would have fit nicer down here so it's one of those things like jackets are tough especially long jackets with like a pear shape like me um because like things will either be too big up here and just right down here or too small down here and 
just right up here. So it's like a lose-lose, but it does have two pockets, which is kind of nice. It's got the two buttons, and then it does have a button inside if you wish to do up two buttons to like help with the pulling of buttons. But here's the back. And then it kind of lapels, I think it's called. I'm sorry, the color of it. And so I do like that look. I like it. I like the look of it open. Um, it is more of like a spring and fall jacket. This would not be sufficient in a Canadian winter. So there's that. But overall, I do like the jacket, but I just wish that it fit my body shape a little bit better. Okay, time to move on to the next outfit. All right, so here is the next shirt. Um, it is fairly see-through. I am wearing like a white bra, so you can definitely see through it. What I would do is wear like a black bra or just like a statement bra, and I think that that would look so cute, or like a strapless bandeau would be super cute, or a colored bandeau. Like, could you imagine like a bright yellow underneath here? I think that would look super cute. Um, this is called the Tired of Playing Games Top. It is $17.99 US and uh, it's 100% polyester. It does tie around the neck. So I'll show you the back here real quick. It does actually, it came with a hole in it. <laughs> so that's no good. But I do like, I like the top. Would I personally buy it? Probably not. Um, I chose it because it looked really good on the website and on the model but um me i might even like i think it would look better even tucked in maybe i just find that it just accentuates my how big my thighs are but i think even that actually looks a lot better and just like tuck it in and then you have like the string hanging which would be kind of cute for a night out with like a leather jacket or a leopard jacket actually i have a leopard jacket hold on that would look so cute, I'm thinking. So I have this leopard bomber jacket. This is from uh, Forever 21, actually. Ooh, I kind of like that look. What do you guys think of this look? And then just add leopard shoes or pink shoes. Yes, yes. I'm liking it, loving that idea. You could even just like, just to give your top some shape, just kind of throw it over the shoulder. Yes. Hey. <laughs> I like it. What do you guys think of this one? Not the jacket's top. This is about uh, Fashion Nova, not Forever 21. Okay, so there's this top. Uh, I want to move on to these dresses. I'm so excited about these dresses. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's move on to the dresses. Hold on. All right, so here's the first dress. I have not tried this on yet. So I can see right away that it is see-through. It is so freaking cute. I am wearing shorts underneath, so pardon me. But I'm thinking that it might just, no. Oh, I'm so disappointed that this is so see-through. Oh no. So it's 77% polyamide and 23% nylon. It is like super stretchy. I got this one in a 1X and it is called uh, the Beverly Hills Babe Dress and it's $40 US, so $39.99 US. It is so soft. It is so cute. I love the color of it and the feel of it. I'm thinking that I would just have to like, I don't know, I could wear, I don't know what to wear. I'm gonna have to find something to wear under this. It is so warm. It's just like, it's so cute, but it is just so, so, so see-through. Oh, that's so disappointing. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, I need to move on to the next dress. 
Let's do it. Oh my goodness, you guys. After the last dress, I was so worried because this one is the exact same fabric, but you totally cannot see that because this is actually a line on in the dress. Like that's not my bra. You cannot see through this one. Oh, maybe, maybe right here. But like you could totally play with this one. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this dress. Okay, so this one, exact same size. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This is the Rainbow Kiss one shoulder in a 1X for $45. So $44.99 US. I am loving this dress. It is a little bit short, but the colors, y'all, oh my goodness. When I have a, oh, I'm so excited about this dress. You have no idea. Actually, you guys probably can see how excited I am. This puppy is coming out at some point. Cause, damn, yes. Yes, Fashion Nova. It's so funny, I guess cause that one's probably just a lighter color that you can totally see through it. And maybe with like all the lines of this one, you just can't, if you can see through it, it's like not that noticeable, you know? Like, let me get closer. Maybe I'll like notice it a lot more when it's actually like on my computer screen. Oh, I just love this dress. Oh my God. This would be so perfect for pride. So definitely pride next year. I already have an outfit. <laughs> but, oh my goodness, I am like, y'all, let me know down below if you love this one as much as I do, cause Oof. Ooh, she fierce. I could just totally. Yes. Yes. Oof. Oh. This is a showstopper, head popper, ass knocker type of dress. Like, oh. I'm so happy that this isn't see through. I was so worried after the last one. I was like, I really like this dress and it's gonna be see-through and I'm never gonna wear it but it ain't hey! <laughs> oh my goodness I'm so excited y'all I am so excited yes 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 oof okay I'm gonna quit doing checking myself out and now I'm gonna get to the final dress. Or it's not even a dress. I am so like obsessed with this dress that like my head is in dress mode. I'm gonna get to the final outfit, which is a swimsuit cover up. So give me 30 seconds and I'll be right back. So <laughs> check this out. It is a little bit long on me, which I do expect because I am short. But you could always just like pick it up a little bit, make it all bunchier. Oh my god, you guys. This isn't even so much like a bathing suit cover up. Hold on. Okay. So it told me what this what material this was. And now I totally forget. I'm sorry you guys. I think it's like a spandex. Uh, 96% polyester and 4% spandex. Okay, so this is faux. Okay, first, Carrie. <gasps> this is called the Hidden Meaning Lace Jumpsuit. It is $34.99 US, and I did get it in a 2X because of this booty. But, like, I'm gonna get nice and close so that you guys can see the pattern. This is faux, it's not real. But how gorgeous! It has, like, an elastic for the waist. So you can move it up if you have like a bigger bust and like leave that like a little bit baggier or do like me and move it down to the waist. Oh, and so I just basically put black bottoms on and uh, a bandeau. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And it's so soft. It's so pretty. And like the ankles have like little cuffs here. And 
and they're just like, oh, y'all. It's like little roses all the way down. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Like, you know when you're like invited over for like a barbecue pool party? This puppy's coming with me. Hooey! It looks so good! Okay, I have to summarize what I've got all gotten in here uh, for y'all. And what I like, what I don't like, all that fun stuff, because you guys know. Um, I've received so much Fashion Nova stuff now. You guys know I do a Fashion Nova haul every time I receive stuff. So I have received quite a bit, and I still actually really love Fashion Nova. Um, I am going outside of my comfort zone now when I am ordering stuff, and I'm ordering stuff that I feel like you guys would really like looking at their website, and I think that that's why I've been getting a few misses per se, um, like the pink dress, the see-through one that I tried on today, I would claim that as like a miss. Uh, it didn't have reviews on it, so I wasn't able to read reviews, but if you guys seen it online, I feel like you guys would would have really liked it because of the length of it and everything but it is see-through and so it's things like that that I've, I've been like purchasing and then I'm gonna like stockpile all of this information and be able to use it in videos like this one so um, basically like things to watch for are like the lighter wash stuff like their whites are fairly see-through um, lighter colors I've found to be uh, fairly see-through Anything like sheer, like the polyester, like the top, that's going to be quite a bit see-through. So just like watching for that kind of stuff when it's like stuff like this material, um, like bathing suit type cover-ups and stuff, size to where you're, the biggest part is. So like the biggest part of me is my bottom. And so that is why I bought a 2X in this. And that is why I bought the 2X in the jacket because I was sizing to my bottom. With those dresses, they, they were fairly stretchy and I knew looking at them that they would be fairly stretchy. If you're not sure, size up. Uh, that is like my recommendation. I still, like even though I am a Fashion Nova ambassador, I still highly recommend them. And you guys know this about me, like I wouldn't work for a company and put all this time and effort into a company if I didn't, if I wouldn't spend my money there, and 100% I would spend my money there. Um, I would just know kind of what to watch for uh, when I'm shopping, and it's just like the material, um, and like knowing that there is Photoshop on most of their photos. So if you see somebody that is wearing something that you like at Fashion Nova, Ask them about it. Ask them if it's see-through. I always try to answer as honestly as possible on my post. So if you have a question about anything that I personally wear, send me a DM or a comment on Instagram because I always will, I, like I'm always gonna be honest. My voice will never ever be sold. You guys know that about me. Or if you see something in this video that maybe I didn't talk about, let me know down below and I will answer as honestly as I possibly can. Well, as I'll, I'll tell you the truth <laughs> um, about my personal experience. But Fashion Nova is such a great company. Um, I'm super grateful to be working with them. And I'm super grateful that they allow me this opportunity to tell you guys about their products. I personally really like them. Some people don't like fast fashion and that's, that's on them. I'm personally about affordability. Um, coming from nothing, I want to bring affordable clothes, especially in the plus size market. We're always over, uh, over charged for the exact same clothes. And it's like not even like a dollar, which would be the material that it would take to make our clothes a little bit bigger kind of thing. It's like $50 sometimes, which like sometimes I get it because it goes to a manufacturer and they need different machines and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, you're going to be making money off of us anyway, so don't do it. Anyway, I'm rambling. But I just wanted to say um, about this haul, I really, really, really like that crop jacket. I freaking, this is my fave, ooh, is it my favorite? It's between this and the colorful dress. Those are my three favorites 
I can't choose. It's between these two that are the favorites. The colorful dress and this. And then that's a close, close, close third, I guess it would be. Because one and two. Um, but yeah, let me know down below what you guys liked, what you guys want to see more of. Next week, I'm bringing to you a denim haul. Somebody had requested me to do a denim haul from different stores. And so I have actually a bunch of den denim at my house. So I'm going to be doing a denim haul that's going to include a lot of stores that I shop at for my denim. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up on next Tuesday. So in a week today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for tuning on, tuning in every single week. I really, truly appreciate you guys. I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling here, but um, I love you all. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and know that you are beautiful. Thank you.